What's up, everybody? Um, my name is Quentin J. Davis first, and today uh, we have another video that's not quite the norm, but it's hopefully um, a enjoyable video to watch. Um, I guess we'll see, won't we? Uh, <laughs> I just like to say that when I do videos that are like this, the camera's way closer to my face than I really feel comfortable with. Uh, <laughs> especially when I look like a hot mess. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna jump into this. Uh, today I'm gonna be reviewing um, some of my oldest pictures, um, and then some of my not so old pictures, but they're not they're definitely not new. Um, so yeah, let's let's just we're just gonna get started. This is probably gonna be a kind of chatty video. I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be more blogish or not blogish vlogish than usual uh, but hopefully it can still be fun I guess uh, we'll see <laughs> all right <laughs> so the first picture that we're looking at here is um, very trippy as you can see um, as a kid, I didn't really understand the concept that uh, clouds were white and the sky was blue. So, uh, in this picture you can see that I drew one huge cloud and it's blue and the sky is white and the sun, like the humongous sun is inside of the blue cloud, which is super trippy and I honestly kind of want to do like a a redrawing of this picture where that's like purposeful and it's not just a misunderstanding that I had as a kid. Um, I don't even know what this says. Stop pot. Mom would know what it says. Somehow mom knew what I was writing when I was a little kid. I don't even know what I wrote when I was a little kid. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have some of my older journals, um, but there's still a lot of fun stuff inside of them. I still enjoy trying to read them every now and then. Um, <laughs> and I would love to make a video where I just like read read my old journals. And I don't know why, but it sounds like it'd be fun. If you think that'd be fun and want to hear me read my stupid third grade journals, then <laughs> just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to do that. Okay, so this next picture, I have to admit, every time I see this picture, I, I can feel in my hands the way that I felt when I drew the picture, like I kind of understand why I made the choices that I did when I drew stuff like this. And obviously it wasn't like actual like artistic uh, choices that I was making. It was just kind of like as a kid, like making making uh, an aeroplane look like a hot dog and putting the propeller in the back was somehow that made sense to me. So. That's what I did, and then you can see a slug bug down here, which was one of my favorite cars uh, when I was really little. And I still kind of would love to own a slug bug, that'd be really cool. And, wait, let me see. Yeah, so when I was a kid, um, before people knew that I liked to draw, I didn't always have the stuff to draw that I wanted to, so uh, when I got a piece of paper and some crayons, I would always draw on the back. So. Here we have Thanksgiving, and there's some Indians, and some Pilgrims, um... You guys remember life before it was, like, political, and... Yeah. It was great. It's just purple Pilgrims, and purple Indians, and it's all okay. It's all okay. But now apparently there's something wrong with that story. I don't even want to go into it. <laughs> um, okay, so on the back of this picture, I have a race going on. And there's 
Why is there a guy on top of a race car with someone in the race? Anyway, I, I don't know why that makes sense, but little kid me was like, that's how to draw a lit race. <laughs> <laughs> then you have like all these like cookie cutter people in the stands with like the exact same facial expression. <laughs> uh, NPCs. Before it was cool. <laughs> okay. Um, so moving on. Then we have this picture. Uh, and it says God loves me So I drew this <clears throat> Wow, uh, I drew this With a verse in mind as a, as a really little kid I I had this verse in mind when I drew this but I couldn't remember the verse after I got done drawing it and So I just wrote God loves me and That was good enough. I was like, you know what? I can't think of the verse that I had in mind, so God loves me. Let's, let's call it a day. It's a good picture. And this... I feel like I dated this myself, but... Um, it says, Quentin, before 2009. What is that supposed to mean? This might have been like my older sister dating this. I don't know. <laughs> um, before 2009, so two. I'm two years younger than this entry, which means I would have been seven-ish. But it says before 2009, so 2008. I would have been six. Let's go with six. Uh, most of these were drawn before I was six. Um, but we'll go with six to be to be safe. So this picture, I really liked when I first drew it. And I still like it, but like when I was really little, I was like, you know what, I want to draw a bunny. And I was really proud of the way that this bunny turned out. And then the sun with like all of its different colors. Um, if you see that, this is like a trend, I guess, with me when I drew pictures. I didn't quite understand that... The, the sky doesn't end, it goes, like, it's all around the earth, so I would draw clouds, um, and then, like, at a certain point, I would end the blue, like, I would, I would end the sky, and it would, like, end halfway down, and you can see that in both pictures, and then it's just white, like, it's just white, because <laughs> somehow that made sense, <laughs> um, no, there's nothing on the back of that one. It's not dated either. Okay, so then this one, considering my age when I drew this, I'm still decently proud of this one. Uh, cause this is one of the older ones, and this is this is a moose with a baby moose. I don't know if you can really see that or not. Um, but. There's like some lighting there. You can see like the rays of the sun coming down on them both. And there's there's a creek and there's a little fish and the grass back here. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Um, and then there's some rocks and dirt. And then there's the sky and it's cut off again. I don't know why I always did that. The sky to me, when I was a kid, was just a big blue crap a big blue cloud surrounding all of the other clouds. I don't know why that made sense to me when I was a kid, but that's just how I saw the world. So yeah, I like this picture. Um, and it's not dated, so. So then there's this picture, and I think this one is dated. You can see that I used the same method to draw the sun in this picture as I used in this picture. Um, these were drawn probably very close to each other because then I also signed my name with the same big brown Q. Um, that was probably the first... That was when I originally started like 
signing my pictures and putting my mark. So that was my original mark. A big, a, <laughs> I can't talk. Ugh. A big brown Q. That was my original mark. Uh, so that's interesting to look back on because I didn't, I kind of forgot about that myself. Um, so this is just a, a red robin and there's a caterpillar and some flowers and blue clouds. Can somebody explain this to me? I know I'm not the only little kid that sees, that like draws clouds like this, but it doesn't make any sense. Like, clouds aren't blue. They're, they're big and white and fluffy and the sky is blue. Why does, I really like to drawing blue clouds. Here again, we see, this is, this is a really old one, but we see the exact same thing. It's a huge blue cloud and then we have a, a big yellow sun inside of it. This makes no sense! <laughs> um, but yeah, this is very OG. And I would really like to... I'm not even kidding, I want to return to drawing pictures like this in the future. Like, just kind of like as a... To like make it intentional though, like... This thing, that'd be kind of cool, I think. I don't know, like pictures like... With a white sky and like... Huge blue clouds with like the sun inside of them. I don't know, that'd be weird. But here we have an Indian and some foxes with a huge black apple inside of his mouth. Because six-year-old me thought that black apples actually existed. Actually, I think this is Yandu. Because look at that mohawk. Look at, look at that mohawk. That's, that's definitely Yandu, okay? Yandu before he was cool. Uh, <laughs> okay, so here we have a bald eagle. This isn't dated either, okay. Um, and this is one of those pictures that I drew and then I never kind of, for I, I never forgot, like, every time I see a bald eagle, I think of this picture. Because for some reason, this was impressive when I first drew it. Or at least, that's what, that's what my older siblings and the rest of my family thought, so, <laughs> um, so yeah. I can't remember, I, I feel like my mom really liked this one. Okay, so this is, we're skipping up to more recent pictures, but not super recent pictures. As you can see, this is a guy dressed in weird clothes. And this is, oh, where's the date? Um, This was at the very end of 2015, so early 16, early 2016. Um, so this is, this one I named Where Am I? And about this time I was getting into naming my pictures, um, like real artists do. Um, also, as you might be able to see, like in the design of his clothes, um, 2016 is about where my, like, designer phase came into being. So some of you guys know that I like designing clothes. Um, and, uh, this is when, this is when the, the mania of it all really, really set in. And I was just a huge fan of the whole thing. I was really inspired to, like, redesign the dress jacket and, like, like redesign um, like a tie and all that and so I was really into this sort of thing and you can kind of see it in the way that he's dressed yeah so it's called where am I and then it's a whole bunch of little hymns doing stuff you have a guy in a blimp and you got you got a guy on a string or something I don't know it's pretty self-explanatory I think <laughs> And so then there's this picture that when I drew, let's see, when did I draw this? Oh, this was a month after I drew this. Uh, this was a month after I drew this picture. Um, and so this is a whole bunch of hands 
as you can see, they're just like reaching for each other, and I thought that this was very... I want to do a redo of this picture, because the, the angle or the perspective on some of the hands isn't quite right, um, and I think I could get it right nowadays. Um, but then, I don't know, maybe I can... That's why I try. That's why, that's why you try things. So yeah, I still like this picture to this day, though. And I named it... Um, I named it... It's called Let Us Have Peace, but it's backwards. So, a, a cape, a va, su tell. And that's a common trend. Even today, I'll like, I'll come up with the name of a picture, and then I'll be like, you know what? That's too normal. I'm just gonna switch it around, and I'm gonna spell it backwards. And that will be the name. So it's just let us have peace, but backwards. <laughs> okay, so moving on to this. This was like. A whole time for me. Like, I love drawing these humongous pictures like this. With like a whole bunch of little bitty people in their kingdom fighting a dragon. Um, I loved drawing them because they're, they're just so much fun to draw so much stuff going on. Up here you see the king is up in his castle and then here you have some soldiers looking over the terrace or the whatever you call them, the little castle area thing. And then you have this tree, and there's a little squirrel there. Um, and then you have this guy, and he's shooting an arrow up at the dragon, which the arrow goes over here. And then you have this guy coming out of the castle to fight. And then you have uh, the Black Knight here, and he's got his flying uh, Pegasus. And this is... I'm probably sounding really nerdy right now, but I really enjoyed designing all of these different dragons. Um, and this one is like dark blue with some purple spots and like really kind of creepy. I'm not even sure if you can see all the details in the face, but I just love drawing it. I loved drawing these. They were so much fun. And I drew this uh, in 2015. It was at the very end of 2014, so I drew it in 2015, which means I was 13. Yep. Yeah, plus it kind of tested my ability to draw so many small pictures. I mean, small things going on. Okay, so this one, as you can tell, is very ripped up. It's very old. This one is my very first self-portrait. Isn't it lovely? Don't I just look like a, a love boat? <laughs> no, never let it be said that I don't know how to depict me. Look at, look at the, I'm, I'm just a, I'm a stud, okay? Look at, who wouldn't date this, okay? <laughs> so, when I was really little, I didn't get the memo that I have a huge forehead, and I drew myself with a very tiny one. And then some of you guys might notice this little curl on the side of my head. If I didn't have dreads, I would still have that curl on the side of my head. Because it's just this little, it's this little bit of hair that like sticks out, no matter what I do. I, I could pick my hair, I could like, wash my hair, and in a day, there's just this, this little curl that'll pop out on the side, and like, it's just, it's annoying, but it became one of my quirks, and I liked it, so I drew it into this picture. It's this little curl that won't stay in the rest of the hair, in the rest of my fro, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Oh, this is long. Um, so yeah. And then this is kind of a different season of me drawing my name. I added the curl underneath my signature. And that is stuck. That is stuck. And every picture I have that now. So there's a story behind this picture, but we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> This, this picture um, is supposed to be me 
when I am in my early 20s. And this is a robot that I was designing at the time and I was kind of obsessed with, I'm not gonna lie, um, called Lilia Stein. And I could make an entire video about Lilia Stein. Uh, I was gonna make this, this humanoid robot, um, and I, I put so much time into it, I knew exactly how I'd make her, everything. Um, and then it kind of, it, it fell through the cracks and it, it's still something that I want to do one of these days, but <sighs> then I started drawing, like designing male humanoids and that's kind of the thing now. So, I mean, not quite because I'm still planning on designing a female humanoid later on in the summer, but, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what the future of Lily Stein is, and I might make a full video about her if you guys want to know more. Uh, okay, so then this picture, I hope I dated this picture. I did not date this picture. Okay, this is an older picture. Um, as you can see, it's, it was uh, after I decided to start adding the curl underneath my name, but if you guys know what my handwriting is now, you can tell that this is a very old picture because I haven't written my name like that for a long time. Um, but yeah, I was so proud of this picture when I first got done. Um, the pictures are very satisfying, the colors put together. The, what did I just say? Did I, am I making sense or... Okay, anyway, I was really satisfied with the way that this looks. If you look at the eyes very closely, at the time, I was like, I was a big fan of like anime or whatever. And so I tried drawing, like giving her anime eyes. And this is, this is what, this is what came of it. Also, I definitely had a crush on this picture. <laughs> um, okay. So, then moving on, we have some of my older pictures again. Um, this is a picture of the manger scene. You can see some music notes, some sheep, a donkey. DONKEY! And then we have... Um, the wise men and their camels. And there's Joseph and Mary and Jesus and some angels and a star. That this is a very self-explanatory picture. And then there's a mouse up here on a star. For whatever reason, there's a mouse there. I don't know why there's a mouse there. And I can't explain it. <laughs> um, then back on the... Yeah, on the back of the picture, because this is my old pictures again, and I always drew on the back, uh, we have this, and it, it's a picture of the Bible. The Bible. Okay. Uh, and then we have this. It's a soccer player. I don't know what team this is. I don't know whose colors that is. If that's actually a team's colors, comment down below, because I'm curious whether or not I actually had a team in mind when I drew this. I was so little that I don't remember much. And so, here's another picture that I drew. So, I really liked drawing deers when I was little, and uh, this is a picture of a deer, as you can see. It's a very chunky deer. And once again, when I was really little, I really liked the sun rays going, like, drawing the sun rays going down onto the, onto the deer. Um, but I got the color of the sky right. It's, it's blue, and then it goes all the way down, and there's white clouds, and there's a brown tree with green leaves, and it's all, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. It's how it's supposed to be. This is a normal picture. <laughs> Okay, so that's all the pictures that we have got to review and go over. Um, I know this was a longer video, but if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to comment down below and let me know because I have so many pictures from when I was a kid that I would love to go over and make fun of. And um, <laughs> yeah, uh, till next time. So...